Alright, what's going on YouTube? We are back with another RPG episode, finally, and what this episode is going to cover is the continuation of making our inventory. Now, I would like to say something as a pretense to all of this. I had already recorded this entire episode, well, uh, not the entire episode, but actually most of the episode, and then what had happened was, is my recording corrupted. So, I am re-recording this with all of with all of the stuff, most of the stuff already done. There's some stuff we still need to change and fix up, but I will go over that. Now, first thing I want to go over is I talked about uh, last episode in inventory. I talked about I would uh, show you guys how to fix um, the inventory not disappearing. I will cover that. Uh, that would be over here. I will cover that. But first, I want to actually finish our inventory. So let's head over to our inventory. So open up that blueprint and go to your graph. And we're going to make this. So you can just copy this if you want to. But what I did is I went in, is I numbered all of my buttons, button one, button two, button three. And then I just uh, dragged each one in and uh, to get them and then off of each one of those I uh, did get item info and then I did break item info for each single one then you have to expand this and uh, expand each one of these until you can so you can see the slot full and off of uh, and you'll want to make create a custom uh, event that is called add to inventory and then you will want to drag off of this, add a branch, true, branch, and then true, branch again. And then for one branch one, two, and three, you'll want to get the item infos one, two, and three from the corresponding buttons and connect slot full to the corresponding uh, order of branches. And then on the false of each branch, what you'll want to do is you'll want to get the item button again, or the inventory button one, two, and three again, and you'll want to set item info, and you'll want to drag item info over your inventory button, add to inventory, and it will, and you'll see it'll say add pin to node, and then you'll just want to let go uh, on add pin to node and do that. Now what we want to do is do that for all three of them and uh, I would like to mention that this is replicate uh, this is stackable which means uh, you can do this for as many buttons as you need I I as long as you have one of each one of these as long as you have one of each and you have the added to inventory and you have your set uh, item info drag to your item info here then you're good so let's first of all or let's now go to our um, item template and make sure that we have everything set up I don't believe I had anything in here that was unfinished but if you see anything that looks like you don't have it then you might just want to add that to your project uh, right now but I think I finished everything in the item template so let's head over to our RPG dude and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete most everything here so I'm gonna delete uh, the create widgets and the get all widgets and the remove from parent and uh, all of that um, and I'm gonna re remove the add to viewport and I'm going to delete all that. Uh, so what you'll want is on pressed on off of tab, which is our inventory button, pressed you will want a flip flop, and then is a is going to go down to a set show mouse cursor. Hmm. Excuse me, I yawned. <laughs> and then you'll want a set uh, show mouse cursor true up here, but we'll get to that later. So what we want to do is we want to uh, um, breakpoint. I don't know why breakpoint was there, but anyways, what you want to do is off of one of these sequences. I'm just gonna drag. Uh, I'm just gonna drag, I guess, right here. And what I'm gonna do is create widget, and then the owning player 
you'll want to get player controller. Then select your class, which will be inventory, and compile that. Now the return value, you'll want to set inventory. Now if you don't have a variable that says set inventory already, that's fine. Just right click on this, uh, promote to variable, and name it inventory. Uh, and then that's all we need to do there. So um, actually, no, we need to do two more things. I forgot. We need to set its visibility to hidden. And then we need to add it to viewport. Drag off of your inventory node here and add to viewport. Perfect. Now that's good. Now I'm just going to comment this and call it create Okay, so that's good. Um, so now what we want to do is let's go over to our um, tab area again to where we can, um, where we open our inventory. And let me get that up on my laptop since I have it as a reference. So what we want to do now is go, go to our tab and on A we want to uh, actually first get inventory so control drag inventory and then set visibility then you can duplicate that with control W visible hidden A and B target inventory and then set show mouse cursor. What you have to do is get player controller, drag off, and set show mouse cursor. That's how you get that. And then, um, and then the next thing you want to do is uh, after the um, after the set show mouse cursor, you'll want to um, set input game mode and UI and so that will be uh, the target will be the get player controller and then the um, if you can't find it just drag off get player controller and set uh, and just type set mode you should see set input mode game and UI and the target widget will be inventory lock always and then uncheck hide cursor during capture because we want to see the cursor and then you'll drag off of a uh, get player controller and then set input mode game only uh, on this second set show mouse cursor so if we compile that control shift s one last thing I want to do is go to your inventory button and uh, click on your image Position X 1, position Y 1, size 100, size X and Y need to be 100, and the alignment for the X and Y also need to be 1, Z order should be 2, make sure it is volatile, and um, that's about it. Uh, if you run into any issues, um, I don't actually know what to tell you, um, but now your inventory will pop up when you tab out, you can click on the button. Uh, as you can see we now have our sword when we click on it again our sword disappears um, and we can attack and stuff and so now we can go kill this guy now that we have our sword before he kills us please nope we lost let's try it one more time Nope. 
apparently our sword collisions are breaking, so that's something to work on. Um, I'll have to figure out what's going on there, what exactly, if the sword is not uh, colliding, because right now it actually doesn't look like there's a collision box around the sword like there should be. Um, that's because there is not. Great. Just great. Um, that's why, because base sword is different. So, what we what we want to do is we want to finish. Uh, I want to finish up this episode by incorporating the item template blueprints, all of this, and um, I want to actually. Go over to our cont or our blueprints item template. Right click, create child, and then do sword template. If I can spell right, no, that's right. Uh, I believe. No, I did. I spelled it wrong. Unreal Engine's documentation just popped on my, up on my other screen. Sorry, I hit the mic there. I tend to do that about once an episode. There we go. I had a sword template. So now if we open this up, we'll have all of the inventory stuff from our sword. But not only that, we will also have, if we go to player stuff, blueprints, swords, Blueprint. If we just copy this stuff over, we also need parent tick. Connect delta seconds. Good. And then just create variable on all of these. And that should be good as far as I know. Um, all we need to do is set the values uh, for each one of these. So it's 50, 50, and false. Um, and then we need to add the collision. which I don't know where that's being gotten at or I don't know where that's being received but oh that's being received on the other one uh, so what we want to do is item mesh right click uh, no add component box collision uh, scale it down to size, move it up, that looks, that looks pretty good, um, I don't want to make it paper thin, so I'm going to unlock scale and rotation and transform, I guess. Um, that looks, that looks fairly decent, right? Yeah. I'm going to move this up so it actually incorporates the rest of the sword. Okay, compile. Control shift S. Um, now we need to go to our AI. And, uh, Let's see, base sword. So instead of base sword, what we want um, is we want sword template. Uh, damage. Get damage.
perfect. Now if we pick this up, no, that's our still our item template. We want our sword template in there. I don't know why it's not selecting that, but that's cool. We'll just delete it manually in the hierarchy. And drag in your sword template. There we go. We can see it's got the collision on there. Um, pick it up. Equip it. He's not actually taking any damage um, because he should be dead by now. But we can fix that simply by going to our sword template. Oh, that's why, because attacking is not being set. Um, so we have to go to our dude. And find where we attack. Left mouse. Current sword. We don't want that to be base sword anymore. We want that to be sword template. Attacking. Nope, wrong one. Set attacking. True. Connect. Duplicate. False. And connect there. Compile. Save. Uh, we just got an error. That's fine. Compile, save, play. Okay, so now we should be getting some damage values printed out. We are not getting damage values printed out. This is a issue for another episode because this does not actually have to do with the inventory. I was just troubleshooting this mid-episode. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't get this fixed. I will look into this and see what's going wrong here. But um, other than that, that's the that's how to make an inventory, and that's the inventory for this episode. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If it helped, uh, please leave that in the comment section. If it didn't help, um, or if you're having issues, uh, please leave that in the comment section as well. Uh, also. Um, if you guys want uh, uh, me to go YouTube full time in a video every day, um, and you want me to put out a video every day, yeah, uh, I will do that if I get one thousand uh, dollars as a goal monthly on my Patreon. I will do YouTube full time. Um, so what I'm asking is for about each person watching this to donate five dollars, or uh, my whole subscriber base to donate uh, at least one dollar but my whole subscriber base doesn't necessarily watch so you know but check out my patreon link will be in the description and uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one